Peter, this is really a case of old and new in this wire shop. We're here on behalf of Fanet. You've got two brand new machines here, but you've also got two older ones. Is that why you've got the new ones? Because the old ones were so good? Uh, yeah, the, the machines are just so good that we, we've had 15, 20 years of Fanuc experience and we looked at other, other machines but the Fanuc was really good in the end. We'd stuck with what we know and what we're very, very happy with. Now it couldn't just be about what you know. If you looked at other machines there must have been other factors as well in the decision. What, what were some of those? Well, I would say number one, extreme accuracy. What are you achieving? Plus or minus three microns. We do a lot of motorsport work. Um, we do a lot of very high precision tooling, multi-stage, the accuracy is sort of everything. And the, the other thing is, when we leave the machines unattended, running, they, they keep running. They are so reliable, they're fantastic. Okay, now the, the controls on this machine and the programming side of things, if you had the machines historically which you've got there, that would be important to you as well, wouldn't it, to be able to bring older programs across to your newer technology? Yeah, yeah, we, we brought in the two older machines and the, all the programs just carried straight over into the, new, uh, into the new software which we also purchased, the, I think it's called the Fat Cut, and uh, the guys just, just blended with the new software which after 15, 20 years, the integration into the new stuff was very easy. We also like the touchscreen control. That's a significant improvement on the, on the machines we already had. We are also able to monitor the machines when we're not here from a, from a mobile phone or from a tablet. And that's proved to be really, really useful. Certainly for the guys who are coming in and out over the weekends to ensure continuous running. How many hours would these machines be running in a day or in a week? When we're at full capacity, they are running for we probably have four or five hundred hours capacity per week. So that, that just seconds the fact you need the reliability. You can't afford downtime, can you? Absolutely. What about wire feed and things like that? Is that significantly improved or faster on the newer technology than, than the older machines as well? The wire feed was one of the reasons we bought the machines in the first place. They were so, we were so happy with it on the previous ones and it's yet faster, more efficient on the new ones. What can I say? It's FANUC all the way. It would be interesting to know as well, if you did have a, a program that came off of an older machine and you put it into the new one, do, do you get a much better part in a, in a quicker cycle time thanks to the new technology? We do, but we, it's also impressed us how good our older machines are because, yes, they're better, but the old machines are still very, very good. So the old machines were almost ahead of their time as well? We think so, hence why we bought Panic again. Now, with the type of components that you're machining in here, you mentioned some of the industries and what, what the tolerances or the accuracies that you're achieving. Is there any complex parts, any difficult materials? As an example, you've done that you've done much better because of the new machines. Well, we're asked to use quite exotic materials, uh, certainly in the motorsport, which sort of crosses over into the aerospace world, and um, using the different composites and things, the the FANUC. Uh, AI intelligence, if you like, is, uh, is tremendous for those different materials. And often the machine surpasses what it says it will do. It says it's going to take 10 hours, sometimes it does it in eight, which is rather a nice surprise. This is a, a really good endorsement for Fanuc, this, uh, this wire cell, isn't it? Well, we like them. <laughs>